everybody welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel i'm key this is keys playing life if you hear some humming noise i'm literally sitting by my um, bedroom refrigerator just because i need to pick up around my room and this was the best <laughs> filming spot i could find and i didn't want to film in front of my tv because i didn't want it to be a distraction but yes so we are now at the end of the month we're at the end of october and I just really wanted to come to you guys and do a um, November budget closeout, number one. And I wanted to, um, uh, no, I'm lying. And why am I saying November? Uh, October budget closeout. And also um, talk about what we can expect for November. So, really quick, October's budget closeout consisted of me, so far I saved $200 for retirement, $250 for my rainy day fund, um, and $219 for my personal savings, and that equaled up to $669 saved for the month. Now, that personal savings has currently turned into a car fund just because i decided that i have a reserve for money for myself so i didn't need two reserves for myself so i have my reserve that i'm allowed to spend out of and then i have my car fund that is strictly for like any breakdowns that happen with my car anything that may need to be fixed on my car or whatever goes on with my car that is where i where i get that money from um retirement rainy day y'all know my retirement fund is me not only for my retirement but me moving closer and closer to my forever home um at least having the down payment on my forever home my rainy day fund is just in case something happens and life does not go as planned i have a backup that i, I have a nice little cushion tucked away that will suffice and keep me going um so far the debt paid off is $1,081 now it may be a little more than that just because I y'all let me tell you what to never do and I learned this and nobody told me this I had to learn this and bump my head on my own never um defer a pay defer your car no payments even during a natural disaster do not if you can help it do not defer your car no payments because I did that. And in the midst of me doing that, they were still charging me interest every day. And I did not know that. So I ended up giving these people an additional $1,500 just so my car payments could start mattering again. Because I was making payments and because I owed $1,500 in interest, it was doing nothing to my car payment and I was steady building interest until that interest that I needed to pay off was paid off. Yeah, I know BS, but it taught me to never defer my car payments if I don't have to. And I, yeah, that was a hurtful lesson because instead of paying $1,500 towards interest that did not help me as far as my car note, I could have just gave them that $1,500 and doubled up on my car note. So, that was a valuable lesson. So it's probably way more than $1,081, but I'm just giving you, that is what, without that issue happening, that is what, how much I paid, how much debt I paid down um, for the month of October. Um, Y'all, I uh, this did transfer my Roth RAs um, over to another bank just because it offered me a lot more than my current bank did. And more, more, majority of my savings is in this bank. So I decided to put everything that's consisting of me saving money over there in that one particular bank. And the one that I pay bills out of, I kept it over there. Um, also, what else did I do this month? So many things. Oh, I decided to download an app called Self. If you're not familiar with Self, definitely go check it out. But it's a great way to build your credit if you don't have very good credit, or even if you want to, even if you want your credit to be better, um, you have an opportunity, opportunity, I think, to put in $25, 35 45 55 dollars, however you want to do it every month. 
and you not you can't touch that money for 24 months but you're steady putting in every month and then once once that 24 months is over your money has built interest so you get all that money plus you come out with a nice credit score because they report to the credit companies every month i did a lot of homework on this company and a lot of research on this company before i decided to deal with them because there's so many companies out here now that swear up and down that they'll help build your credit and they really don't do anything for your credit so i'm the type of person i do homework i don't go off of what people say i don't um just do something because it's a trend i actually do my research and i actually um look at different things and see how it worked for people and look at different reviews and um listen to people talk about it for a couple of months because a lot of times if you wait you'll see people come back and they will do um um updates on what they're doing so i waited on updates and all that and then i decided that that was the best thing for me no i'm not paid to do this to do to talk about them this is not sponsored this is me saying hey that's a great way to build your credit hey that's another great way to save some money um so yeah i have just been on this thing of saving money lately i am i have a goal which is to pay my car off in april i'm very determined to do that so i've been pushing myself and i've been um I, I have other debts that need to be paid off, such as my credit card debts, but I'm pushing towards that car note because that's my biggest debt. I decided to go with my biggest debt first and then work my way to the smaller debts. And once I knock, right now I'm in debt $25,000. Once I knock that big debt out, I think I owe $15,000 on that car. I can breathe. Um, and I i'm tired of paying a car note i want my car to be 100 percent mine and i don't want to have to worry about paying a car note and then i just i want to be free of a car note i want i want the pink slip to my car and that's very very important to me so i have fifteen thousand dollars left on this car i have till april to pay this fifteen thousand dollars i am going to be pushing myself to the max my income tax check is gone because it's going straight to my car i'm not I'm not even mad though. You know, you know what I'm saying? I'm not mad. I'm not upset about it. I'm doing what needs to be done in order for me to be debt free. So I feel good about that. And in the meantime, I'm still able to enjoy myself a little. Like me and my daughter, we had a girl's day out and we bought a couple of things. Um, but we didn't go crazy like I would normally, because normally I would go like bananas. But we didn't go crazy this time. We were very aware of the spending that we were doing and we know that we couldn't do a lot because i don't plan on doing a lot any more spending until um until actually when i get ready to take my vacation in april because that's going to be my gift to myself of paying my car out car off i'm going to take a vacation so yeah there are so many changes that i have made in october um so you already know that for october i saved nothing but my ones so we're going to count those up in the next video and then in november you know i'm saving nothing but fives so all five dollar bills i will be saving also I decided to give myself an allowance of $50 a week with a, I wasn't going to go back and get my nails done just because I was like, I really need to save money, but I'm a girly girl and I, I really like to get my nails done. I cut off my massages and I just feel like I should, I want to hold on. I want to hold on to something that makes me feel like a girl and my nails make me feel girly. So I decided to cut off my massages. I'm not buying wigs at this moment. I'm not buying clothes at this moment. Although I did buy a workout set. But that's because I got permission because I made that big lump sum on my car note. A big payoff on my car note. Um, and we went to Shop Miss A. But I'm not... Um, I'm not doing a lot of normal spending that I would normally do. I'm utilizing and shopping my house um, in my closet. I think, um, oh, I went to Bath & Body Works. You know, you got to tell your truths. I went to Bath & Body Works. I bought a cute little candle holder and two candles that had just came in. Now I'm done. You won't see me. I won't lie and say I'm not going to shop, but I won't do it until i need to catch the bath and body works to my annual stuff because i need some more body washes we only bathe with their body washes and normally when i buy them i buy a year supply and then i don't have to buy any more for a whole year to the next time my annual sale come back around in december although they do have one in june i only go once a year so okay so <laughs> i'm making some major major changes for 
I made, I made some major changes for October and I think they are so helpful and I'm seeing the numbers um, of debt decrease and I'm seeing the number of savings increase. Like I said, I did um, decide to put myself on a $50 allowance from um, 50, $50 a week allowance um, and it's like $100 every two weeks. That does not include my nails because my nails are separate. They are $50 a month and they are separate. And I'm going to continue to get my nails done because I want them done. Um, now, I have not decided that, like I said, it's not included in my allowance. But I have not, not, I have not decided not to include it in my allowance. So sometimes I'll find a way to kind of budget it within my allowance to get my nails done. Um... But yeah, I'm not eating out as much. I'm actually eating at home. And yeah, it's just a lot of changes. And I thought it would be hard, but it's, it's it, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little hard, but not that hard. Like, cause I'm discovering things in my closet that I forgot I had or I didn't know I had. And I'm just really, really, really shopping my closet. So I'm okay with that. So yeah. All right, so <laughs> this video has been long enough. I just wanted to give you, oh, you probably seen it already, but I had it over here anyway, just to give you a recap of everything, but you probably seen it anyway. There was no rollover money for September. I didn't have anything roll over for September. Um, don't have anything rolling over for November either. I had $10 rolling over, but my son took me to breakfast so i actually ended up giving the tip to the waitress so it wasn't over ten dollars but still i there's no rollover money um this month i will say was really it was eye opening it was um it was me getting my ducks in a row and really deciding how i wanted to continue with my financial journey how i wanted to um what direction I want to go in. And it made me really crunch numbers and really look at numbers a little bit more. Instead of just saying, oh, I'm going to save $30,000 by this time. Or oh, I'm going to save $20,000 by this time. No, I actually had have a ideal. I have a number. I know what I'm trying to do. I know what I need to get to do to get there. I'm watching my dog because I have some papers right there that he bet not touch. Don't you do it, Toki. Come here. Come on. So, come here. All right, big boy. So, um, yeah, that is it. I am going to get out of here. Remember to think smart, you sleepy. To think smart and spend smarter. And I will see you guys in the next video. I am Key, and this is Key's Plan Life. Bye. Budget for February, our goals for February. Um what I plan on doing different for February. So this is our February um, 